Sorry, steady. Kau going live. So what I haven't understood, there's no song, that introduction is not going to come up. No, because this, that's what I keep saying. All this is not going to be like that. Keep looking at the time. Hello, hello, this is Zaira Kariyabunyoro in the diaspora. Thank you so much for tuning in and good evening, everyone. This is Caroline Ajuna Kibuka Atenyi, the host of this amazing. Hello, hello, this is Zaira Kariyabunyoro. This is, uh, sorry about that. Uh, this is Caroline Ajuna Kibuka Atenyi, Mzira Kati Ninduga Hoima, Nkabulikiro Enonio Era Kariyabunyoro in the diaspora that is supported by Bunyoro Kitara Development Association and rise up inclusion, uh, rise up community inclusion. Uh, just to remind you, our viewers, this show is in two languages, that is Runyoro and English. Runyoro is the language spoken by the people who come from Bunyoro, and Runyoro is, of course, found in the western part of Uganda. Hanu uh, Hairakaria Runyoro in the diaspora. I would like to send uh, sincere condolences to all those who have lost their beloved ones over the past week. On behalf of Iraq Aliyamiro in the diaspora, I also continue to send our thoughts and prayers uh, uh, to all the Roman Catholic sisters and brothers, relatives, and all, and all Ugandans who continue to mourn the loss of His Grace, Dr. Cyprian Kizito Luanga, who passed on last Saturday. In the same spirit, we send our thoughts and prayers to Her Majesty, the Queen, the Royal Family, the people of United Kingdom, as they mourn the loss of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. May the souls of the, of the departed rest in peace. Uh, with that brief uh, messages of condolences, I just want to say to our viewers once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Haira Kaliaunyoro in the diaspora. Uh, we are sorry last week we are unable to broadcast this show, but it will go. Uh, with us on our side to this week, we've been able to do it today. And with that, I want to play for you an amazing song by Igima Band that is found in Bunyoro. And it's going to be a Juka. And I hope you're going to you to enjoy this amazing song as we start to prepare for the opening of this show and speaking to our guest. Mutio Muno Abanyoro Nabanyoro Kati and friends of Bunyoro, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Munyumirwa Kazina Aijuka by David King of Igima Band of Bunyoro. See you after the song. Kuyapuka 
himself so my value you have cousin ako hatin to get up to and the kind of questions right i'm going to invite our lovely guest a vibrant lovely guest to come online and then after that we will ask her to introduce herself uh on the, to you our viewers uh before i want to before i invite the guest i just want to remind you that today's uh, topic is my journey shared stories uh now uh, Brenda Hello Hello I would like to invite our in our guest um Atuoki thank you so much for accepting Hello. Yes thank you uh, you're most welcome on Hyrakali Avenue in the diaspora and thank you so much for accepting once again to come back because I know you've been on the show before for accepting to come back again and be able to share your story with us we bale muno kuikiriza uh, kuikiriza garuka hairaka lya bunyoro in the diaspora uh, kuba ho no kutugambiraho obomezi bwawe gambira abantu kiye kyo ekiwarabe kyoli kiye kyo rabire mu ebintu bingi about your life we bale muno kuikiriza atwoki kandi with that brief uh, welcome i want you to introduce yourself to our viewers 
our viewers like to say Kumanya, who you are, who, where you come from, and then we will straight away go to your shared stories and you start sharing your story with us. What you I'm going to Kujano Kubaza na audience yanyu amabara gangi ni nyoka itenu habrenda tuoki mbamu wezati mzaruo mnyoro wabiasiza njuri ya sisi ngo mamoti omchwezi azaruo omugenzi mamugenzi kaita itima sedrida tuoki no omugenzi mbamiasiza leo adieri ani yonani zaruo Omgiara Kavuma Rose Delfin, Akito Mugahi, Azarwa Omkaikuru, Omkaikuru Vahimuka, Dorajisa Yeri, Omuseke Owa Kiakiza Gambe, No Mugurusi, Omgurusi Theobrachias, Owa Kutro Mugahi. Inyo Brenda. Okay, and all going to Brenda at Gambi Rosaro, Ewe Abamza, Muziro, where you are Nangira movie to get easy. Hattie, Ninenda, Kumkaguza, Asobole, Kubaho, Life, Eyak to Gambi Daho about us, his her story, and Kabumanide story to today. Our topic today is shared my journey, and it is about sharing stories with our viewers and ourselves to motivate others to inspire people out there, the especially young generation. You're a, a young lady, very vibrant, clever, beautiful, everything. So we thought it would be nice for you to come here on the Voice of Bunyoro and talk to us about your journey and tell us more about who you are so that you can, in your story, maybe you never know, you may be able to inspire some young people out there who are watching the show and then they will be able to pick themselves up and do just the same as what you're doing right now. Hati, at your age, I've read your profile, I've been following you so closely, and I have realized that at your age, you've done quite a number of things. And I would want you to tell us how it all started and uh, about your education, the little stories that was you were growing up, so that we can start from that level. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm raised from a humble family uh, with a father and a mother. We are three, we are three girls and one boy. Uh, we were raised from Hoima. I am also made a Hoima program primarily young people. It is some around here in town of Mania. One story from my young secondary. My old focus on my school. Nya so many mara na benda old campala. My HSC. Nya so many apatas nya. Then I manage to build up on my wife. It is history, economics, and yam. Divinity. That as a math, uh, I then after I enrolled to Makerere University, uh, doing uh, social sciences. That's at social sciences are bachelors. So after my bachelors, as we were waiting for, as I was waiting for graduation, for almost a full year. I saw the time was long, and then I decided to go and do a short course. Uh, in ministry and leadership. So I also did that at a course in a Miracle Bible College um, for three months. Then after, I think that is the time that it, it that is when I joined leadership. Uh, I contested uh, via Miss Bunyoro 2019-2020. That was 2019 when I was waiting for my graduation and I graduated in 2020, January. Um, so that is the time when I joined leadership in Europe. And um, 
na na contesting even in kwa hiyo facebook hapo my sister maybe this happened the one who noticed that yangambira ho na nyena na correct is the one who even put that in me yangamba you know what i feel like you can do this you can do this your body and your height and your beauty i believe you will be you can manage to do this and i really love her so much she knows that she she trusted me yeah and take that potential that i can be someone and then yeah and i successfully unfortunately na maliza na singa uh we had a, a crowning party ya ja honorable bategeka lawrence abali mu mu bunyo rohan mu bunyo the no he was our uh, keynote speaker with the generator na we ya ya baho mukazi and they told me a lot of things that kept me going uh, i remember one of the words that mr honorable bategeka lawrence told me he said that now that you come into leadership you might be young but consider yourself a leader from now you do a lot from there and i believe that has always kept me going uh, from then i believe my life never never turned back from where i was because i was able to attain the audience that and even people started believing in me that i didn't have before i uh, take you back of course of course we expected a lot and me i expected a lot when i'm protesting but if it be to be on this show to add to every minora local that let's love our 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 culture to be so far as much as we can to empower abana abali mugunyoro because there are very many people abana ideas but with no finances now that this is the story that i moved about your education you did a leadership course uh, uh, in, in, in miracle center uh, is this something that is open to all the young generation or you've got to be someone who goes to that church to be able to do this leadership course? Because you're saying it's the one of the courses that inspired you to start doing things. So how do one, or have Abana back to who is a of today, back to Rakuba able to join and do that course? Okay, it is a free course. By the time that I attended, it was in fact free. It's free and I know that it's even right now free. It's a ministry and leadership. So anyone, anyone, as long as that you want to be a leader, you you want to know more about leadership. I I trust and I, I even add that every year you are now because so go mungi sa to do that course. Abo kwa ekuegesa how you can be a leader and also stand and your your just what doctrine. It doesn't matter whether you are a leader. I believe anyone can do that course. Not only in that church, but there are many, many, many places where you can attend that, that leadership and ministry course besides being in church. Yeah, yes. Any college that does it in Bunyoro, or any church that helps uh, in, in, in our key, our generation, our young generation into that leadership course, because it will be of help for young people in Bunyoro to be aware of this. Okay, I don't know yet in Bunyoro whether there is any church, but I believe there must be churches. Most of the churches in Bunyoro, they don't have bishops in Bunyoro. That's what I know, apart from Catholics and, um, and uh, Anglicans. But most of the churches here, born again churches, they don't have bishops here. And I don't know how they operate really, like to be honest speaking. Yes, okay. because I'm from a background of a Catholic family. So here I'm raised in a Catholic family. And I know more about that religion than born again here at home. Yes. Okay, so 
yeah, the journey of Miss Wunyoro starts. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, the journey of Miss Wunyoro starts. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, in vacation, that's when I joined um, being a Miss Wunyoro contesting, and I, I successfully won, like the wife said. And here, uh, with my journey in being a Miss Wunyoro, what I would just want to add to all you is that however much you get a lot, maybe you get a position. But the reason some, somehow, some way, you might not say much expected, but then we need to, we need to look for beyond what, what you, you're seeing. There are many opportunities, as I've said, I didn't get the money that I was supposed to get, but that did not push me out. I said, no, I need, I, I wanted to be a Miss Bunner because I had my, my goals and I had the vision, the one that I wanted to bring on board. The fact that they've made me a leader already, I can start from there and do something. And that is what I can move me. Yes, where I am now. Hati with Miss Wunyoro. Um, with Miss Wunyoro, uh, you have, uh, did you, were you able to achieve your goal? So were you able to achieve uh, your objective or your goal when you contested and won? Oh yes, I must say that I, I was able to achieve my goals. My goal, one of it, oh, yeah, the, the major one was to to hope in preventing when you can't do it and and uh, edit uh, in a year. It is something that you have to keep on engaging and telling people and also socializing uh, people. But I tried as much as possible. I was able to carry out many radio talk shows in Bunyoro specifically. And also, uh, I used to partner with the Productive Health uh, Uganda, that is Hoima branch. We did a lot there. And I, I must say that when, we were, when I was after the queen, at the queen of Miss Bunyoro, and I think when we were contesting, they were like, we were like, I think five or four girls. But by the time the next, the next regime were able to have over 14 girls who were contesting, and they were all, all of them, mostly they were looking up to the work that I've done. So I believe that I did much, even more those girls to come up with, to wish to be like me, yes. So is is the project the projects you are set to do for me? So is the project the projects you are set to do? Were you able to continue or are they still going? To continue or are they still are you still going? running those projects or the or you once you be handed over your crown, those projects ended? Or uh, because we need to know so that people are aware of what these are, are projects are. And then they can probably join or they can probably uh, help you uh, continue doing your work as a, a miss. Once a queen, forever, I think, they remain a queen. So, are your, your projects are set to do as Miss Nero 2019? Yes, I, I have to say yes. I realize that in order to end early pregnancies and also in the pregnancies, even extended pregnancies, the one that was my first goal, I realized that you need to start with empowering the child. So in, order, uh, in empowering, it is a lot, there is a lot, there is education, like there is a lot in empowering. Halio, kumuyamba, menstrual hygiene, what were the many things in empowerment? You know what you and yet they have their issues. They are neglected. They don't have families. Some of them want them to, to to getting men. They just need to get money, or even they need someone to tell them, you know what, you're beautiful. 
and they don't get that from families and even people who are close to them. So if they get a man, you know what, you're beautiful, you're this, they find themselves falling for that. And in, before you know it, they are pregnant. So some children, they really have it all. They have the money, they have everything, but they, they're just self-esteem is just dumb. So I realized that I need to, to move and draw to empowering other children. And that is what I've been uh, um, doing a lot. I'm living we came to this question at the point of many change. The schools have been closed. Uh, uh, children have been home. I realized that there are very many children who have become pregnant during this time. But then we had to look at the immediate thing that is giving out food, and I've been doing that. Uh, I, 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 I've been at school on a food drive, and we have been moving around Bunyoro giving out food. I'm sorry that we weren't able to, to showcase the photos for that. But people can still see them on my on my website on my on my Facebook page to see what I've done. Yeah, and um, I've not stopped there. I even opened up an initiative that is after switch and it is not online because I oh, it opened up in COVID. But social media, thank God for social media, so I said, no, I'm not going to close my voice down just because an uh, radio is closed. They talk to what again, a muscle mirror to talk to these girls. Uh, you're not going to tell them about these issues. And then we keep going. Uh, a girl, it is not only, you don't have to just look at early pregnancies, but also empowerment, uh, even education, development. I to be being in the middle so there are very many things that we need to look at. So I said, no, I need to start up an initiative. So we have been doing a lot to in a, to in a many topics that we have been able to tackle. And I'm really glad that I'm doing this. And it is not my own making, it is the support of every person that has has come up because I must, by the time I started my 2019 as a leader, as a Miss Bunyoro, I was me. I had the dream in me as a person and the vision that I was seeing. But now, right now, I've been able to get many, many people who have come up to join me. And I'm really glad for everyone that is hoping and supporting. Yes. Thank you so much. Brenda, I just want to ask you this. It's a hey, personal question. Brenda, um, it's a personal question. I want to. Um, I was I want to. I was a beautiful girl like you decides to become a Miss Tsunyoro. Or go for beauty contest. People, the parents seem not to learn this. People, the parents seem not to learn this. People go for beauty um, because they think they are, uh, they are exposed to men, they are exposed to so many things, uh, sometimes men use them. So how was your mom? Because this is about your story. How was your story? Sharing with, with, with our, our, our viewers your story. So when you told your mom or your dad or your family at large that you're going to be a Miss Nero, how did they tell you? Were they happy? Well, 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 there are questions, and how do you manage to convince them to, them to allow you to become a Miss Civil to convince them to allow you to become a Miss Civil Okay, so let's draw you back. You've just given me miles, miles back. <laughs> okay, let me try to tell the story. As I was growing up, I, I really wanted good things. I love good things when I was young. I love good things. I'm one person who never even wanted to go to school, but I really love good things. And that thing used to, to make me and my dad very, very, like my, my dad was one person who, who was really tough on me. And my sisters are totally different from me. They were very focused in books. And yes, they have all done sciences. The one is doing survey engineering, another one did agriculture, they are very, very focused. And for me, I was one who was not caring about education. I really love good, good things. So my dad kept on 
getting worried on me. And he, he, I remember he used to take me to schools, but because I, my dad used to do that, then my mom was so close to me. Uh, she's, uh, my mom used to really love me of all because of the way my dad used to be tough on me. But then right now I realized that my dad didn't do that badly for the bad part, but he, he really loved me. I remember when we were crowning, when they were, yeah, when I contested, my sisters, I, I told you my sister is the one who believed in me. Because of the way she used to see me, even at campus, I used to, I, I joined an agency. I was modeling, but my family never knew about that. So, Hati. Yes. So, um, Brenda was still telling us her journey about how she was able to convince her parents to be come to go to come to become a Miss Bunyoro uh, 2020, 2019. And so she was still telling us her story. Unfortunately, she has gone off this uh, off the screen. I think it's the network in Uganda, as you can see. Uh, she's uh, not very clear. It was not easy, especially the dad. Nkobaba one of her sisters was doing, I think, um, uh, a gambile forestry or something to do with, uh, it, it, she was doing a good course, basically. So she was still explaining that to us. Kionkaya Rugaho. Hati nyomba nyenda kumanya inyo viewers vaitu out there. What do you think when your daughter comes to you and says, I want to become, I want to go be, uh, contest and become a Miss World or a Miss Uganda? How do you feel? Abazaire, Abalo, Kwabakura, Brenda today explaining her journey to us here on the Voice of Junior. Please chat with us. We need to hear your voices. We need to know because I realized I was part of this uh, contest of uh, last year. I was able to be among the people who were on the panel. And there were quite many girls who came up, which was interesting and amazing. When I was growing up, I wouldn't tell my mom. I wouldn't tell my aunties, I wouldn't tell my uncles that I'm going to, to, to contest for as a beauty queen. I wouldn't even dare say. It. So there you go, Miss Brenda Katerima is back on the show. She's going to tell us what she, how she was able to, to eventually convince the dad and go and contest. And she came up with a crown as Miss Winero 2019, 2020. Aha, by Nokia to Gambia Castoreca when Namzei Wamu was so Rakubaza now ya Kiriza. So, no, 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 he didn't, he didn't even know that he was contesting. He didn't know. Had he been to grab a move on Facebook and wherever, that is why I don't know who told him, but I think he was also scrolling and then he saw my face contesting to be a Miss Bunyol. He, he didn't even think about the city. <laughs> it was really tough. He called us right away because I was at campus. I was in Kampala, by the way, not at campus because I was waiting for my graduation. I was working. He called us when he really did. I didn't pick up his call, so he called my sisters and he was really bitter. He's like, you know, what's wrong with Brenda? How can she ever do things that are putting me out oh, that? Uh, giving me pride. How can she go to that, that stuff? I even don't know what is, is it all about. And he was bitter, but I said, now I'm ready. In, I can't go out. We just keep it and say, anyway, let's just wait and see what comes out. So after winning, he yeah. was now, because everyone was talking about, he was really excited, very happy. He, <laughs> On radio stations, instead of talking about me, they were talking about him. He's uh, he's into politics, so people were just talking about him. You know what he has? I don't have this one. Now I miss when you're. He was very happy. I remember on my crowding, he even said that stuff. He's like, you know what? I remember this girl when she was growing up. She really gave me a lot of headache. And you know what? Parents we really need to to discover what our children want and we'll be able to know how to support them than kill their dreams. You'd never know. I remember those were his words. He was very, very happy. 
and even up to now, he's really proud of me. So, uh, my mom is one more supporter. She's always listening. I, I thank God for her. And with other relatives that have been there to support us, for them, they, they also have come in. I didn't even tell them. They just knew when I won. That is when they came in and supported me. So the issue was mostly on my dad. My dad really didn't, didn't buy the idea at all. But after he was happy because of the person now I'm, I'm becoming, even up now, he's really proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> Your kids go and uh, that is it at a beauty contest. Would you advise parents to let their children? I know you're not yet a mother, and let me ask you this question if you ever got a girl, a daughter, right? Anyway, I think you would just say yes because you've been a beauty contest, you're still a beauty queen yourself, so you would just say, Oh no, go for me. But maybe if you had a sister or a friend who doesn't believe in these contests. And doesn't like like you how your dad was. What what would advice would you tell parents like that? I personally, I, if I got a baby girl, I would I would question myself if I say yes for her to go and become a Miss Contest for uh, a beauty queen. I, I don't know. That's my feeling. But what what would you say to parents like that right now on your show today as a Miss Winter 2019 2020? Okay, to be honest speaking, uh, being a beauty queen is, uh, is not an easy thing. First of all, there are many temptations as a woman. Uh, every person comes your way. There are very many people who come to your inbox. That's the honest truth. Many people come to my inbox. And most of them come because maybe because of the beauty and because of what they are seeing me doing. They don't come because they want to connect to me because of me, the person I am. So you really have to set your goals and principles as a woman, as a person who is now not a parent, but I'm talking now to the person who is, who is wanting to be a beauty, a beauty queen. What you put into the, uh, into the eyes of people is what they're going to perceive you to be. Of course, many people say, have a give a malaya. Some of them, even when you go into relationships, people are not going to take you serious. People just want to use you. Those are the things that you realize. So you just have to set your goals and you know what, at this, this one, I'm not going to cross this. I'm not going to do this. And even how you present yourself is what matters. If you present yourself good, then you get a good contact. If you present yourself out there, you're showing your body, you don't respect yourself, you're like this. Of course, you're going to get people because already you're in the limelight. But those people who are they're going to be of that style, of that, of that level that you put yourself in. So as a mother, as a parent, I, 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 I would advise them. Because even if you tell me not to go there, when I have that love for you, go. Now imagine I'm at campus, uh, my parents, my dad, I, I just stayed with him in his house when I'm, I'm in senior four. After I went on campus in Kampala. So I decide what I want, where I want to sleep, what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what you want to hear in the phone, on the phone. So you're not going to do a lot. All you have to do is to encourage me, uh, teach me what you, you think I should follow the doctrines, you know what, Brenda, you shouldn't do this, you know, go in a way to tell us this and this. Yes, every moment that you get, try to encourage your daughter to do, to represent you well, where they are. And that is what my family has been doing all along. You know what, Brenda, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And of course, how much I, I maybe do those things, but of course, at the back of my mind, I know it is wrong and I will not go far. I will always listen because they're my family. So I believe as a family, as a mother, as a father, you need to just support your daughter. And instead of pushing them away, you need to listen to what they want and also bring them close. Because when you bring a person close, then you're able to explain to them. We have my auntie, she's I think 45 years, but we talk. I even tell her everything because she has, she has, she has started to listen to me. 
she has she has decided even my mother i discuss with her everything everything in my life i tell her because even when i tell her something that she doesn't want to listen to hear she will take it she will not she's not going to back to me she's going to be like you know what brenda this is you're supposed to do this and this like this so, but if you chase your daughter there, she's going to just call, she's going to get home friends who are advisor to So I believe as a mother, you're supposed to tell them, you know what, if you decide to do this, then do this for God, do this for, for to empower, to do this, to do this, and then walk the journey with that daughter of yours. Yes. That is no Brenda. I what I have gotten from that story that you just shared this with us about your parents and how you you are able to control control yourself. You, you were able to start living by yourself when you are you were in all levels in senior four you started living by yourself so you had the choice to do whatever you wanted but because you and your parents are close to you and you discuss everything so you're encouraging us to have a personal relationship with our children so that we get to know them and we get to know what they are up to and to give you liberty to to empower you when you're still young to live a life but still, that is properly, uh, you, you, you talk, you communicate, you're open to each other, you discuss everything, and then the child will know, yes, my mom, my dad believes in me, and they let me do what I want to do, and it's up to me to behave myself, just as you said, you kept hearing what your parents were telling you, to be a good girl, to take care of yourself, and it was at the back of your mind. So we let them know at work if you're sharing all that, I hope the parents out there are listening, they are, uh, Brenda is telling us the way to go with our children and we must have a personal relationship with our kids so that we give them a platform to share with us everything. Hati Brenda, uh, we will be going soon for a break and then we'll come back and appreciate our, our I will appreciate our viewers and read out some of the questions that has, they are saying, they're asking you. But I just want to tell, ask you more about, because I'm very interested about this beauty Queen, I am fascinated with the work that you've been doing for Bunyoro. Um, so uh, would you say that you have put Bunyoro at, as, at a map, you as a Miss Bunyoro 2019-2020, and a person who organized the, the current uh, page, the, 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 both the most recent where we got a Miss Bunyoro 2020, were you able to, have you put the works help the Banyoro girls, because this is all about girls. I know, of course, the boys will also come in in one way or the other. Have you helped the girls in Banyoro to be able to be, to love themselves, to come up and be Miss Beauty or Miss Queens, just like you were? As you've already told us, there were about 15 content, content, contestants last year. And of course, we could only get one winner. So, have you do you think you've done great for Bunyoro as a miss uh, a, a, a beauty queen yes i believe that i've done my part i've done my part to empower not only the girls but even many 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 youths who are looking up to me there are very many youths who come to my every day every day i get contacts i get messages in my inbox of youths who want to be part of what i'm doing uh, those who want me to mentor them, uh, those those who want to even be beauty queens as I am. But of course, you realize you realize some of them, all they want to do, all that you have to do, is to be exemplary. Maybe. Yes, at times you don't need to do much. You don't need to give them money. You don't need to give them food, as what I do to other people who are hungry. And maybe to others that are sick that you give them wheelchairs, some just need you to be exemplary. Because I believe right now, if I, I became pregnant without out of wedlock, there are very many people who are many youths who are going to be like, ah, even this one has done that. You get? And they will also maybe do that. They will think that there is no life in being a beauty queen that you can even be able to get married and have a happy family. 
some some of them they don't believe that beauty queens can even get married and many people even tell me that that you know what aruha yagambire in fact akagamba one of my relative yamgamba ogo mwana mumutere muno haiguru mumutere haiguru we don't know whether that girl will even like get married ako kuba mbere mumutere mumuhanikira haiguru muno mumuhanikira haiguru she will not get a person to marry her you get so there are very many those things that they keep telling you along the way and there are very many things that people have said as i'm growing up as i've become a beauty queen i remember i became a beauty queen before i graduated and everyone was saying let's hope that you will graduate so i was on pressure that i don't know because we we're waiting for i was waiting for some papers the last semester they were not yet out so mm. everyone was telling me that even my dad told me that on my crowning party he's like let me hope that you yeah i'm very happy for this but let me hope you graduate so people don't believe that beauty queens can study that's why i pray that i will even get a phd and mm -hmm. so, yes i pray i do it so those things that people have when you change the perspective that's when people will now begin to to look at beauty queens as in a in a better direction because beauty queen it is just to shine out there and appreciate the beauty that god has given you i and there is a verse in the bible that is psalms 139 it says i am fearfully and wonderfully made so if you feel like wonderful made if god also saw that this beauty that a person can be beautiful so why not use that beauty to change to change and impact the lives if i'm doing this too uh, if i come on the show like what you're doing at any okoro muri mulungi and you are lady you're very beautiful and happily married actually you know what i need um i need uh, there is a person who is dying of cancer let's do this let's do this because you are a presenter of course people are going there are many people who are looking up to you some of them are going to do it because of voice of kunyoro others are going to do it because they know this person but many of them are going to be like oh my god it, because this lady has said let's support the cause and then you end up impacting the world because of your beauty and what you're doing as long as it is for the good why not why not look at it in that perspective why why to see mbwabanyu aba beauty queen bona baba bens and that and that and that so that is what i'm trying to change and i believe i'm doing my part in bunyoro to be exemplary to those girls aba ba yesimbiro ba singa abo to know that this is how they are supposed to move i remember kuti vabene onyabaye ni organizing that contest many girls aba bana ba indaka kuja ba indaka kwetezo obisani ba jwero buhali buli munyu nabagamba kwa for us we we follow uh, bunyoro is a um, is a very we have beautiful cultural way a mienagiro yaitu nungi muno and you need to to close your body already said even in official way i think those who followed they saw how those girls were very well dressed all of them others didn't want but we were telling them you know what no this one i'm not taking it and they you know i was very harsh on that amazing so yeah you need to come straight from the word go let them know that you you are not going to just go there to sell your body but you're coming for good purpose you're coming to 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 be an example to many girls abali mukiyaro kabaku batunuli so that is what i tried as much as possible to talk to these girls and yes even up to now i talk to them in my inbox they inbox me they talk to me and that is what i'm doing and i'll keep doing that yes thank you thank so you. much uh, miss uh, brenda <laughs> miss brenda we wale muno kuba a very a very a very good role model no modeling kuyamba aba iskiba na aba baile ba contest i know you're doing a, a number of projects with these young girls i have liked your idea of mentoring bale muno ku mentoring and i would encourage you to continue mentoring the young generation have kuba in the position you are in now you are actually supposed to be doing this you're a role model of course nko bogambira abantu bakurola aba iskiba kurano oli batani bamanya ni bogo miss bunyoro 2019 2020 so you are really an exemplary person and you must lead by example we bale muno ku to have bogambo bo and i know you are doing a number of things i know you're talking uh, there is a project because through your beauty beauty uh, projects 
you are able to join a GS, GS, GCI, Winyoro, uh, and uh, we are going to go a little bit for a break right now, but we will return and you tell us more about GSI, Bunyoro and how you got you you were able to join that organization and tell us more about it what they do so that people get to know more of your projects. We are in Nawal at Woki, we are Misiki Msim Emanzi at Bunyoro, Miss Bunyoro 2019-2020. You're doing an amazing work. There are so many projects that you have done at a very tender age, and we will be talking about them when we return for a break. Ni tugenda kumra mukake. About your work with GSI Bunyoro and many more other things that you're doing as a Miss Bunyoro. So we will be talking about your work with GSI Bunyoro and many more other things that you're doing as a Miss Bunyoro. So that people get to know all the projects that you're doing. And we'll be back. Tugenda kugenda tulize akazina karungi. Akandugahoima by Jesse. <laughs> so, I've forgotten his name, other name, but he's called Jesse. Jesse Ndugahoima, and the, all the rights are reserved to Jesse Nyue Namuka Nyumirwa Kazima. Mutio Muno Abanyiro Nabanyiro Kati. I'll be back on the voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora. <laughs> So we are returning with questions. Another plankton treatment production, creating of entertainment. 
Ibale yo hapa mwezi pai kwa hapo Aongo mwe jese na nduga mkaha nduga hoima Kazi na karongi mwono ngira nina mkani mwilwe Hati tugarukile haja kari ya mwilo yu ndayasua And uh, we are still having our discussion with Miss Brenda Katerima. Uh, Hati Ninyenda for appreciating a few of our viewers and see if there are questions that they are, uh, they are asking our Miss Bunyoro 2019 2020. Or with our discussion about what we have uh, Minyenda to appreciate Atenya Alisa at Gonza, at Gonza uh, Mama, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Caroline Virunji, thank you so much for tuning in as well. Uh, Victoria Mwase, uh, we vale tuning in, we waife, becoming more and more beautiful. Thank you so much, Victoria Mwase. Kugonza Ronald, watching from Cape Town. South Africa, thank you so much for tuning in as well. And uh, uh, Bakusi, my Brenda, thank you for the program and thank you for being being able to share your story with them. Uh, uh, Solomon Asimwe is also is also watching. Diana Kemrembe, hi everyone, looking nice in black. Thank you so much for appreciating. Brenda, uh, Betty Singoma is at, is watching. Dokas Karungi, Abuoli, thank you so much for tuning in. Annette Kavanyoro, sorry, yeah, terrible network. I agree that uh, the, the network is not so good with at Brenda's side, but what can you can we do? You know what is happening in Uganda? Network is not free anymore. And I guess uh, Brenda is struggling with that too. Uh, the guest is breaking, network not good. Yes, Ateni, network is not good. Sorry about that. Uh, by to Phoenix Yokora, to Kores and the network in China, Uganda, to Kutsura Kora Kiamani Muno, but we still need to continue with the show. We need to be interactive. We want to connect to everyone in the world. Uh, and uh, so we will have to work with what we have. Jole, uh, Jole uh, Rukambuzi, thank you so much, Amot, for tuning in. Judith Vigirwa Amot, thank you for tuning in as well. Mwebale Munoku, continuing and Mutwa supporting. Uh, Mujuni Edward, Wevale, Atenya Alisa Kaguza. Brenda, this is a question from Atenya Alisa. I don't know whether you are hearing me well. She's asking, how have, have how has the school girls got pregnant during, I don't know, <laughs> during COVID-19 lockdown, been supported to continue with their education? I think she's trying to ask, how are the schools, the girls who have got pregnant, being supported in, uh, uh, to continue with their school after COVID-19. I think you'll uh, be able to say a little bit about that. I don't know if you can. It will be very um, interesting to hear your, your, your view. Evangelist Amoti, thank you so much for tuning in. Informative, yes, we are trying our best. Dana Kemirende, it's good if that, if good, if that is what they want to do, I don't know. This is a conversation within the chats. Uh, and then I'm looking for questions for you, but they seem not to be so many of them there. Thank you, Brenda, for this discussion. Very informative. Uh, the Bakusi, Mononue Chair, Maureen, Alinda Chair, BKDA. Uh, Morris, uh, Morris is also Polar Project. Please to see, please to see and hear Brenda who, who we are at Paul Projects UK, support with Afro Switch, a project we started. That is Morris, is uh, appreciating you as well, I guess. And then Judith Vigdura is saying, these talks should be uh, also presented on local radios, make others aware that beauty contests, contest is a challenge. I think you as a Miss Vignero, you have got to answer this question and you've got to go to the radio stations and speak to them. This is a very good suggestion from Amoti Judithi, and I agree with that as well. And so many other people are asking, Abel, we wish you, we wish you best of luck, Brenda, full gospel century in international ministries. I think they are also supporting your work. Uh, Nibabo, at the moment, the things that I can talk about for now. So if you can be able to read, because we have a few minutes to go with the show, and then you tell us about GSI Bunyoro, and you tell us about Afro Switch. 
before we conclude the show. Ocho muna tuoki. Oh, Patty, in Japan, no, no, how are the school children, uh, our students, but we are Of course, now that is a question for all of us. We are still wondering. Abamwabana, they are doing exams when they are pregnant already. But Abamu, I don't know how Abamu so many gaps in the Kamuka King, we are going to the Kaking with. So that one is in fact between a masomero e basaziro wonka masomero. A masomera gandi gak batekinga ini nam no munawe bali misini ya fo, abaine nda bay na kole visam wabu badja kole visam. So we we come to see that kusoma kuli very important alo mwana omwano mwe skip kusigara kozerek, a yerin zire atafunide teenage pregnancies. Abokuba it is just I think a year. Is it a year? Yeah, I think we made a year since COVID came in Uganda because it was in March last year and now we are in April. It is just a year that parents have, have been able to be with their children for a long time without school. And now we see Mbo Amasumiragam, they are recording almost half, or a quarter of the, of the gaucha, like Abavere and Basumava Tagains, the Rabbi Nenda, Abafuni Davis Bunkevi on Kevi, Abamuba Swayway. But I need a bit was way to redeem a Takiari high summer. So you realize there is a lot that we need to do. And it is not all going to be done by the government. It starts from the family. Chonka Ata Abazai Abamo, Emili Mayo Kugamba, Abana Babu, Mano in a Querida, Omano in a Korot, Abama Bazai, even that Vivaza on Abana. They really don't want, they shy out to tell those girls, Kinunakin. And they leave that work to school, Abazai Abasomesa. And yet, our semester they are, they are supposed to just add on what the parent has done. About what a parent knew what you losing more if at all that your daughter doesn't succeed in what that person is supposed to be. So, nyowenko mutu ngamba abazaire by muke nabo by mukire mu. For us, we can do our work. I think I can be an example to many of your daughters and many of, of maybe even uh, my daughters to come. But then, even parents have to play a big role. Omano Mukulizota, uh, which environment are you exposing that child? What kind of TV, TV programs is she watching? They don't really mind about what that the child is watching. They don't know what they are taking in. So you realize that a bit be Oksome Sabitandikila Muka, Alom Zaide. Yes. And about the, the talk shows and what that the person has been um, advising us to do. Yes, now I'm not a uh, Miss Vunyoro, and um, I'm, I'm no longer now on the team of management about organizing uh, for the next uh, for the next um, contest that is going to come. But I'm not going to say that I'm stopping because, as I said, when I was contesting, I had a vision in my in my back. So I'm not going to stop because maybe I'm out of the management to do what I'm supposed to do for Vunyoro. No, that is not there. So very soon I'll also be coming back here. Maybe maybe we'll hear me also when we are launching our own beauty agent and me and other partners that are willing to walk this journey with me. Yes. Uh, and uh, about JCI, that is Junior Chamber International. Yeah. Uh, let me now start with that one. Uh, JCI that Ateni has been talking about is Junior Chamber International. As we hear Junior Chamber International, that is concerned with youth. We deal with youth from 18 to 40 years of age. And uh, it is international, meaning you can find JCI almost in all the countries. Yes. And it is the best part of it is it is convenient to bring you the, the services close to where you are. Just like the way uh, I will more so concentrate on JCI Bunyoro since we are dealing with voice of Bunyoro from the diaspora. I joined JCI um, last, uh, yeah, last year. That is when I came to know about JCI by one of, uh, of uh, our partners who introduced us to that. Yes, and he's, he, that partner happens to be uh, of that, the management 
they came to support the, the Miss Bunyoro uh, beauty pageant and they said that all of us, we are now entitled to join. Those who are willing, of course, they can't force us. So that was an opportunity that was given to all those beauty queens who had contested. So some of them, they, they didn't see the, the good in GSTI and they left. Some of them, we are still walking the journey. So I happened to be the first president and the person who initiated JCI Bunyoro. As I said, JCI is wide, but then we have different chapters, chapters that are created under a, a national organization. So a national organization, like for instance, under JCI Bunyoro, it is JCI Uganda. So from JCI Uganda, we go to the international board, like that, like that. So we were able to create a chapter in Bunyoro that is JCI Bunyoro. And we have been able to do very good work. Uh, our vision of JCI, it is all about impacting uh, the youth in order to create a positive change in, in their communities. They don't really uh, change what you want. Now, like I say, I'm doing, that's what most people know me about. That is what brought me into the face of people and I cannot change it however much I'm going to do this and do this, I will remain a beauty queen. So my passion is in, 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 um, in, um, in empowering women. There are people whose passion are in different things, in development and whatever. So as when you join JCI, you're able to connect with people who are in your same direction. Yes, in different countries, in different in different locations and through that you're able to to expand your connection and and your network and from that you can you easily get the support that you want now i'm going to give an example of my initiative that is afri switch that most people know about afri switch i i got that idea when we were in the lockdown total lockdown in uganda so I realized that we were very much scared when we were getting information in the information in the UK, the USC, to Corona BBC World News, to Corona Al Jazeera. The COVID had not yet come into Uganda. We were all scared. So I was very terrified. I was scared. I then yeah, you look at what Uganda and the medical the standards, and then you like. If those super countries have faced that, what of us Africans, how are we going to, to deal with this? I was really scared about COVID. So through that, then I started saying, but then why us Africans? Why us? Why is it that for us, we can, be, we can even, like we are like this. So from there, I realized that now, if at all Africans have to change, if we can, if we can do this, if those people have done it, then the only way that Africans can be better in development and everything, we need to come up together. Many Africans are there outside. They are performing well financially, but they are not confident. Others are, are even depressed. Others are in, in Africa, they can do something better and they can be able to impact lives, but then they, 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 can't, they don't have the resources. So I realized that if, we, if at all we connect together, we can do something. If me, I, I'm good in this. There is someone who is better in that, my weakness. And then we are all Africans. We can do something better to change our continent. So because of that, and then I real, I asked myself, how am I going to connect these people? I didn't have the contacts. Thank God for JCI. JCI was able to connect me to platforms where uh, there are many youths who are, uh, who are positive, and who have the vibe like me to change communities. So when you join JCI, you're able to get into contacts with, you know, getting right contacts. You might be with contacts in your phone, but those contacts in your phone are people who really, I, some of them are just there to put you down. They're not going to give you any idea that is, or they're not going to even support you. Even when you, you put Zoom, you put an online event, they're not going to even come to view what you're doing. They are it is boring. Me personally, I'm going to give an example. Right now, the most people that I'm dealing with are older than me. People that I talk to are older than me. People that I used to discuss with years back, 
uh, my friends at campus, I no longer connect with them because for them, their ideas and the way of thinking is now different from mine because of the things I'm doing. When you tell them, you know what, Brenda, you know what, I'm having this event, come and join me and support me. They come there, they just do one minute and they are off because the things I'm doing, they are just not understanding them. Yes, they are my friends and I love them so much and they know that, but they don't support me in the things I'm doing because they just don't understand them. So now with Jesse, you're going to find people who are understanding what you're doing. And globally, they are supportive. They, yeah. That is what how I how are you doing? That. What are you doing to change and the I, mindset of your friends? Brenda, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. What I, are you doing? Because I don't want you, because you're a friend. You're now a role model of the Banyoro girls and boys and the youth. You don't want to leave them behind and just con only concentrate on working with the elders or people who have already made it. You've got to work with this young generation, the youth, so that they become better youth who, because the, the future, you're the future. So what are you doing to change the mindsets of these young ladies that you, who were your friends once were your friends, but now they can't understand what you're doing. Probably things are higher. The, the, your level of thinking is beyond them. So what are you doing to keep them, to, 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 to motivate them? Because this is all about motivating. You need to motivate them. So what do you plan to do with them? Just ignore them and leave them and continue working with the ones that you're working with? No, that's not what I do. I realize that now what I'm supposed to do now, let me for example, in my summit. In my summit, uh, the, the, they cannot come into prison. Some of them, they cannot come into prison. They tell you, no, I cannot do that. So what I did, I put in sessions of poems. I think if you followed my things, you see there is a section of poems. And most of those people who come in in poems are youth. Now, that is where my friends coming from. I make sure I give them a topic. Last time I even put our current Miss Union 2020, and she came in and then moved. She did not follow. But why do I do that? I do that so that they are able to, to log in and listen. Uh, through listening, they will be able to know that this, this content I need it. And that some of them are now joining. Yes, but others whom you have to keep on telling to you know what you need to do this even with my sisters uh, my sisters i already told you that they are different from me they are good in some things but some things are not they are not like me so i keep on engaging with them in different things so that they can they can be they can gain that confidence and that self-esteem in them yes that is what i do on to uh, continue with uh, you are now the national executive director of GSI uh, Bunyoro, no GSI Uganda. So what are you doing with that position, and the way are you? What so far have you achieved with that? Because we got to leave, we are losing time now, and then you've got to talk about the Afro switch where you're the CEO, the founder, and we need to know why you started Afro switch, and then we will be closing the show. Okay, okay. Uh, I think some parts have already given some hints about them now, like uh, how I started. It already gave us the introduction from the pandemic. That's when I got that idea of of Africans. Mm -hmm. So to get back to the general, I'm the immediate president of JCI Bunyoro and uh, an executive director of JCI Uganda. I think that was last, last month, March. Yes, so I already have my plan. Of course, now I've noted I'm not going to say that I've implemented, but now drafting what you're going to do. As uh, in my position, the position that I'm carrying, because uh, to let you know that JCI Bunyoro is just one year. I, I told you we got it when the was girls, girls, that was around July there, August and we were able to, to be the first, the most active chapter in JCI Uganda. So because of that, and since I was the president of JCI Minyoro, 
as the board of this Uganda, they say we are going to do, we want you to share that idea. How have you been able to make it from down? Moreover, it has been a pandemic time, but you've been active. Your chapter has been now the the uh, it has been the head, it has become the head, the leading chapter in the whole national board. That, that is just a Uganda. So they say we need you on the board, and your work is going to you're going to be. Uh, my work is to to make sure that I awake those chapters in different places in Chambo, in Kampala, in Gulu. I'm going to be visiting those chapters. I see where where the problem is. I I reunite it, and then yeah, that is mostly that is the work that I'm hoping to do. I I, I hope to do a lot of partnerships with Jesse Ivanuro and uh, other different chapters. Does we be doing different activities so that uh, they are able to come up and we have a very good just here in Uganda all together. Yes, that is my goal in twenty twenty one. We already talked about uh, Af Afro Switch briefly. Could you just tell us about your uh, vision for Afro Switch and the coming summit that you're holding? So that people get to know about it, and then probably they will be able to switch on and listen to you while you do that uh, summit. So briefly tell us about your vision for Afro Switch, the CEO, and and just briefly talk about it, and then tell us about the the summit that is uh, you're soon to you're soon to hold, and then we we you will give us the closing remarks. Okay, so the vision of Afri Switch, to be brief, is to bring together African countries and we devote them right from the grassroots. Our goal is to, to devote each other right from the grassroots. That is what I can say about Afri Switch. And we are doing every possible means since we have been into the pandemic, we have been able to do everything online, but we hope as God provides in the coming year, that is 2022, We'll be able to do live course, uh, um, workshops and even summits. We will be able to do some that are live on the ground in Uganda and different countries. Yes. And then about our upcoming Afri Switch Summit, it is about to, uh, tourism, health and tourism in, in Bunyoro, investment in Bunyoro. Yes, that is it. So I'm focusing in Bunyoro. As we say that, as you're growing, you have to start from where you've come from. Yes, the vision and, um, and the organization is just in Africa. It is all over Africa. But then there is no way I'm going to, to raise this if at all I've not started from my home. I believe in order for me to grow and how I've become mostly. It, it, it takes me back to where I've been raised up from. So I cannot forget Bunyoro. And I believe that in order to have a very good, uh, yeah, for us to be better in Bunyoro, we need to have a better health for all the, the Banyoros. So I've been able, we have been able to connect with people in UK. We'll be having many on the panel in UK. Even my co-host is uh, Mr. Mulimira Moses. Yes. Uh, we that is our the the health his uh, UK Uganda I think healthcare um, um I don't want to mention a wrong a wrong position but that is Mr Mulimira and then we we also have many many uh, many many guest speakers and on the on the on those guest speakers we were even privileged to be having our deputy prime minister that is um, yeah, Bunyoro Kingdom. Mr. Ruamparo is going to be around Apollo on that summit as one of our So I urge every Munro, every Munro in UK specifically, because I know uh, that I'm going is in, in US and UK, other, other countries, of course. Please uh, join us on, on 6th June. I will be live to do that. You can, you can get us. To get more information on my YouTube, that is www.afriswitch.com. And then you can get me also on, on YouTube, I Brenda, then also Facebook, the same name. 
and also my email address uh, that is uh, kaitremabre at gmail.com. That's also my WhatsApp and everything. You can ask them to attend. As long as you're coming for a good cause, of course, I will be happy to welcome you in my inbox. Yes. And uh, this one that is about there. Uh, and tourism, of course, when we talk about anything that is beyond Bunyoro, we can't go without tourism. We can't do without, without, without before we conclude, Brenda, before we conclude with, uh, with the show, I want you to do a closing remark. But just want you to tell our viewers what role you do for Voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora. Just uh, briefly tell us what you do for us the voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora, because people have got to know that you are also of our voice. So anyone who wants to be on this show, who is back home and wants to tell people what they do, they want to share their stories with the voice of Bunyoro and so that people know what they do globally, they can get in touch with you. So what are you currently doing with voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora? Okay, as, as uh, on the team of Voice of Bunyoro in the diaspora, I'm the area coordinator of Uganda. Yes, so if there is anyone in Uganda who would want to sponsor the program in Voice of Bunyoro, you can easily get me on those pages and uh, those platforms that I've told you about. Uh, if at all you want to advertise, still you can talk to me. If at all you want to be part of the guest speakers, I can also be of help to you. And also, if at all you, you think that you, can, you want to join our team, maybe in marketing, uh, anything that is good for the program, yes, I'm the right person to approach. Thank Amazing. you. So uh, just do your closing remarks. Tell us, tell your viewers. I know you haven't finished your whole story. You've, you've, you've done half of it because you are you've done so much things in a very short time, but uh, because of time, we could only do a few things about your story. Give us your closing remarks and tell the people what you want them to hear here on the Voice of Bunyoro uh, that is broadcasted on Voice Show Media UK, and then we will come to a conclusion and close our show tonight. Okay, uh, since I am a youth, I can't go without talking to my youth. So I'll, I'll give a closing remark to youth, then I give a closing remark to women, and then yeah, women, then mothers, and then to everyone. So to youth, I urge you to find yourself, try as much as possible to find who you are. And the only way to do that is to, to, to check yourself from within. Stop being moved by what people want you to do. All of us, we have many things that people want us to do. And many things that maybe our, our parents have wished us to be. But you will become a better person if you do something we, that you, your interest is in. It might be, it might be, you might look at it as something that is not right in the eyes of people. But as long as you you feel like it is the right direction that it is better, then do it with your heart. That is the advice I can give to every youth out there watching this show. And to others, please, parents, please try to support your daughters, your, your sons in the direction that they are taking. Try to be close to them. Uh, try, uh, try not to condemn them. Yes, that is what you have to do. Because with me, I, re I realize in many circumstances, my mother normally tells me that, you know what? I know now you're grown up. But sometimes she wants to put things on me that I don't want. But then she says in a point that, you know what, brother? You're, you're big. You, you can decide for yourself. So please don't think about this. She normally listens to my idea before she judges me. So I urge every mother to listen, to listen to their parents and pushing them far. Yes, you love her so much, but try to understand us more. And uh, to so everyone much. who is watching this show, I ask 
Thank you so much for, for yes. all your closing remarks. Sorry, I've cut you short because we are not hearing you so well. And uh, we've got to go now. And our viewers are still complaining about the network. So next track, probably next time when your network is better, you give them a better uh, closing remarks than you've done today. But thank you so much for accepting once again to come on the Voice of Bunyoro in the Diaspora. That is uh, broadcasted on Voice Show Media UK. And Kusimamu Network, Emili Moyone Yokora, Kandu Oikale no Kora Namani, Oli Muisiki Manzi Abunyoro, and you're really representing Bunyoro very well, and we are very proud to be to be working with you here at the Voice of Bunyoro in the Diaspora. And I work on na webale muno kutugambi la history ya wentaito, yu tugambi ireho, so maybe next time you'll say more about yourself. And uh, right now we are going to go away uh, we're going to go offline and we'll be back next week, same time, 6 30, with a yet another amazing uh, uh, guest. Please stay with us. We are sorry for Brenda's network, it hasn't been the best, but we hope next week will be the best. Uh, will be another, another show that you will all enjoy. And thank you once again for tuning in. This is Ira Kari Amnuro in the diaspora, and it is supported by BKDA and Rise Up Community Inclusion. And it is Caroline Kivuka Ajuna Atenyi, the host of this amazing show. And we'll see you again next Sunday, Mukama Alinde. Kandi, please stay safe and keep safe because COVID is still there and you all know that COVID is real. Mrale Kurungi, and I wish you a very blessed week ahead of us. Turarangana next week. Uh, bye. Collab text, it can find me. I come from media. Mass profiles, we are power, but money base. Bless them. Kasika Erika Taito. Just the can to cut Taito. I'm about to get there.
Fruits of persistence. 